everyone it's your girl jb day seven here and today we're gonna do a palette mashup with the divine rose 2 and the rose decadence palette so i um if y'all haven't seen this is what the inside of this palette looks like i'm trying to use the dual chrome shade i want to put it over a shimmer shade though and see if that transfers and makes a difference so i want to put it over this shade right here what's the name of that shade that shade is fuchsia flame so i want to put it over fuchsia flame and um I'm trying to figure out which one of these shades to put in the inner corner because they have a lot of lovely shades in here. Um, so I'm not sure what I want to do, but I know I want to start off with this shade right here on the outer V. And I might mix in a little bit of this shade. I'm thinking about just mixing a couple of the um, matte shades together and then, you know, um, using some of the other shades. Like I want to use the pink and the purple on the lid. So I think I want to use this pink right here on the lid along with this purple toward the front and then just put the dual chrome on top of both those see how that goes i um i just thought of this up on a whim so i'm like i definitely want to try that out i think it'll be like super cool but yeah um let's go ahead and get started i'm taking my um tone activator from um kaleidos have you all seen that they're supposed to come out a new palette or something like that because um i am Definitely excited about the purple one they're supposed to be coming out with. Because if it's the same formula as in the um, Astral Pink palette, it might be another Kaleidos palette I actually like. I just did a video about brands I just can't get into. So, y'all have to stay tuned for that. Because there's other brands out there that be like, yeah, no, there's not a vibe. I feel like you should be able to name a couple of them. That you just know I don't vibe with. I be trying to work with. But I just, I just be like, yeah, no. And it's like I keep trying stuff on the brand and I be like, yeah, no. Some brands is because, you know, it took them forever to come out with inclusive things. And that's why I want to be bothered with them. And then there's other brands where it's just like, you know. And that was only like a part one of the video. Because I could have sat there longer and did a longer video. But I was like, this one already 30 minutes. Just me talking about these few brands. But it's like other brands that I'm thinking about adding to it for a part two. So if y'all like part one, then I'll do a part two. If y'all not really feeling part one, then, you know. I'll just keep part two to myself. I mean, I might film it anyway. I usually just go ahead and film it ahead of time. And then if the numbers tell me that since y'all don't ever tell me anything, then I just go ahead and, you know, do it. And then if the numbers tell me, like, you don't really insert or you don't really care, then I, you know, don't worry about, like, uploading the second one. Or I'll just upload the second one if it's, like, an emergency thing where, like, I haven't had time to film any videos or I went on vacation or something. And then I just put up those videos then. So I just mix both of the purplish rosy matte colors together and put it on the outer v i feel like this one's looking more burgundy though so even though i added that like pinker shade to it, i feel like still like all i see is burgundy i don't know but i'm gonna mix um i'm gonna just use the um pink shade from the rose decadent palette on its own on the inner part of the eye but on the outer part i mix the color from Rose Decadence and the Burgundy shade from Divine Rose together. So that's what's going on in the crease right now. Just the Rose Decadence palette eye color. Only thing that sucks about this palette is I feel like you can only do like, well, you know, rose tone things for the most part. But I mean, it is a rose theme palette. I like mauves and stuff, but Mother making me tired of mauves too. I'm just like, look. Okay, like I like them too, Mother. But like, you know, can, can we get something else? Like, why couldn't you come out with a purple collection? It's just all purples, like... Or just like a collection of little baby jewel tone palettes for the holidays. Do that next holiday. Come out with jewel tone baby um palettes. Like the little um special edition, limited edition quads. Or come out with six pan palettes with just like a pretty jewel tone theme to it. I'm not saying do like a hooda where it has like the quartz and the, you know, this and the that. Like don't, don't do it like that. But um be cool if she did like... Um, her special shades and a jewel tone four pan package. Like one was jewel tone and then one was um another tone and one was another tone. I had thought of the other two tones. I just really wanted to see her do like a four pan special um shade like quad with some cool jewel tones in. I think that'd be awesome. Like it doesn't have to necessarily even shift mother. I just want you to make a jewel tone situation. I think that'd be awesome and you should totally do it. Like, I'm rooting for you. I believe in you. You should do it. I'm interested to see how this um, shifting shade is going to work on top of this pink and um, 
fuchsia shades that I'm about to put on the lid. So that's I think that's the part I'm most excited about, honestly, y'all. I'm going to do a look with the Rose um, Decadence and the Divine one as well. I feel like I mostly use the shimmers out of the Divine. Um, I mean, out of the Rose Decadence, though. Because if I remember correctly, the shimmers in the, the first Divine Rose aren't as exciting as the shimmers in the second one. But in all fairness, like, there's a dual chrome in this one, so it's going to be more exciting. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm, the only thing is I feel like lately all the shadows, like, fade up a little while after I have blended them in. It's like I haven't even had this on my eyes for, like, 10 minutes. And I feel like this is already like looking much lighter than it did when I first put it on. So, but I feel like that it looks like that lately with a lot of um shadows. I don't know if it's because of this eyeshadow primer I'm using, but I feel like with the ABH ones it does that too. So I don't know what's going on with that and why it's doing that. I don't appreciate though. I find it very rude and it needs to stop. Okay, um, we're gonna take this two o what's this two o five brush? Yeah, it's two o five brush from Elf's, um line and take the fuchsia pink shade first because i'm going to use um this um toward the back and then i'll use the darker shade toward the front so Okay, y'all, so we got the dark pink on the outer V. Let me get a little bit more over here. Well, not dark pink, more like a pop of fuchsia pink on the outer V right here. So, there's that. And then we're going to turn over the front of the brush, and we're going to take the Fuchsia Flame. If I remember correctly, I think I ended up having to put this on my finger or something. So I'm hoping that's not the case today. Yeah, that's the color I want. So I'm going to mix those two colors together. And then we're going to put the dual chrome on top of all this. So I'm definitely interested to see like what the color situation is going to look like with all of this going on. Because it's a lot. It's, it's just a lot. But I feel like when I use um, Divine Rose, so I just have to use a special shade. Like, it's just a requirement. And I don't make the rules, so I just, you know, I go along with it. Like, whenever you use the you have to use a special shade. Fine. Fine with me. Because that's the real star of the show with this palette, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, this hot pink is really nice as well. It has some nice shifty shades in for the inner corner. But, you know, to me, the special shade is just the star of the show. So, take it on my finger. See that? See how it shifts? Yes. Let's start putting that on top of these and see how it looks. And this will change the color of the shade because it has another shade underneath it. Because that's genuinely just the only thing I'm truly curious about. The only thing is, I don't know if you all will be able to see it on camera because, you know. I mean, y'all happen to see the other part, but will you be able to see it shifting toward the shades that are packed underneath it prior to it being put on the lid? Or, like, what? Because that's my true question. Like, because I feel like you can't. I feel like you still just see the green when I turn my head. But we're not going to abort mission because, you know, I'm hoping to catch some video when I'm outside of it doing like different shade matches and changes. Because it has a hot pink and then a fuchsia purple underneath it. I mean a fuchsia pink underneath it. So let me swatch that on my hand. And then the other two I'll put on the lid. And see if I can maybe pick it up on my hand. So I put on the pink on that and then that one on that. So this is what it's looking like on my hand when I swatched it. I feel like you're not seeing as much of the shift as you should. I don't know if it's because of the angle I put it on my hand or what, but it's not showing up the way I was hoping it would. I'm hoping it shows up like that on my eyes when I go out later today and I can, like I said, capture it for you all because I'm like, I feel like it's just going to be like a truly awesome sight to see, especially in the sunlight. And now it's like I had another palette master to do, but it's like I don't even want to do it just because I feel like this. I look at Zoba. I just need to, you know not do anything else just do this because it looks amazing 
and I only need to go to Indiana to get some gas. So I'm thinking I'm going to go to Indiana to get gas with this awesome eye on. And then I will come back later and see how that works. Because it's like, I don't want to have to be out all day. And I honestly feel like just being a lazy bum in the house today. Which I don't know why, because it wasn't like I even went to work this week, y'all. But I'm just over here feeling the laziness. Oh, so we're going to take this shade right here and pop it in the inner corner. And it has like a dual chromey, like pink type shifts to it, if I remember correctly. So, let's see how that works. Yeah. It has like a nice pink shifting situation to it. Look at that, y'all. Just gorgeous. I don't plan on going grocery shopping this week. I'm going to go grocery shopping next week when I... um get off work this is poor week as we call it. my my friend and i call it at work because you know we're not um we didn't get paid this week so you not you try to spend as little money as possible that you can you know not mess up your budget till the week of work comes so i'm thinking about waiting till sunday to go pick up my gas but i'm just like i usually do it on saturdays now because 12 o'clock in the afternoon i'm trying to leave and go home um, I don't think I'm going to do a lower lash line color just because I'm going to do more eye looks today and I don't have to try to scrub off one of these dark um, shades on these lower lash line and try to redo some concealer to make um, my under eye look halfway decent for the rest of the look. So I think I'm going to skip out on that. But um, yeah, this is the finished eye look of this palette mashup using the Rose Decadence palette and the Divine Rose 2. And as you can see, I got the special edition packaging because I was lucky enough to snag it. But I wish, like, somehow these were printed, like, on the palette. Like, if she just had her insignia on the front and just printed this on the back of the palette, I would be more than happy with that. But, you know, this works. I'm just glad that the new ones are, like, made in the fashion that the Star Wars one was made in because I like this packaging way better. You can easily just open and close and have the nice big mirror. So... You know, we'll see what mother has to offer us during the holidays because that's what I'm most excited about. Like, what I hope she does more of those like little quads like she did before for the holidays. I will be living, like, I will be living super excited. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are dying, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>